Don't know if it was uh, worth sacrificing Dixie or whatever, we'll see. Uh oh. Yeah, the fact that you can fail now, the stars don't infinitely respawn for you if you miss some. You gotta get that shit down tight. Toy like a toy girl. That's a trap. Uh oh, that was way too early. Starting to spiral out of control. I'm spiraling, I'm spiraling. There. There we go. Get me out of town. Get out of town. I mean, I have 50 lives. There's no way this level is going to take me 50 lives to complete. You know, I say that now, but I mean, realistically, if, if I, I just have to complete it without getting any of the secrets and I'll be fine. Uh-oh. That guy is there with something, I'm sure. I'm sure there's something there that I'm going to need. To him to be out of the way. Like, you know, that that's kind of cool, but you gotta ask yourself, like, how tiny are the Kongs, or how big is the dude trying to cut down this tree? You see shit like, oh, bonus right here. You gotta ask yourself, how tiny are we, or how big is the dude trying to cut down this tree? Uh-oh. You can't jump up through these platforms. You gotta be precise. Yeah, if you f fuck up, you're not gonna get a second chance super easily. <sighs> you die, and then you go again. Let's not f, f this up again, shall we? Oh, Lord. Like, is it? I mean, it's creative, yeah, in its own way, I will say. But it's like, uh oh. Uh-oh, they don't even give me the chance to get up here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know, what's kind of gnarly is listening to that saw sound for however long this level lasts for. Uh-oh, you can't jump up through these. You better have precise jumps or you're screwed. But yeah, listening to the saw blade over and over is pretty gnarly. Gnarliest stuff in the ocean. Um, if there's a secret, I don't know where it is. Like I said, I, I feel rushed as hell. Feel rushed as hell, dude. Oh no! How did I miss that? Oh no, uh... Oh shit, uh... Oh, come on, dude! Is that where we died last time? I don't even remember. 
Like I said, my energy is just not here, dude. I don't know where it went, but it's not here. You don't gotta leave, but you can't stay here, kind of. It, it, up and left. Right when I needed it the most, he just up and left me, dude. That's mean. As soon as, like, level design is bullshit. Like, they put these dudes right where you land for that very reason. To be bullshit. Huh, I wonder what I need to do to get to you. Disco Stew was talking to you. Well, there's one secret right there that I know we've missed. I... Oh, okay, I was about to say. Okay, so... Ah. Now, how do I do this, huh? Already at the end of the level, so let's uh not have this screw up, huh? Okay, there's that, and I'm for sure know that we've missed another secret around here somewhere. For sure know that there's a secret in there that we've missed. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I just feel so low energy today, so forgive me. I will try to perform to the best of my abilities, which is usually not very good. Think those DK coin methods more creative? Eh, they're different for sure. I, whenever we started streaming this, I was like, I, you know, I'm saying it's different to add an extra thing that you have to do to get the coin. Uh oh. Doesn't mean I want to have to throw the barrel to get it every time. Just making me take an extra step, like. It's different, I can admit that it's different than just finding it randomly in the level. Like, not to be a negative Nancy, but like, I don't know. Being different just for the sake of being different is like not always good in my opinion. Before, it'd be hidden in a level and it's like, oh yeah, you know, I found it. Like, here it was, or sometimes it's at the end, which those are the most annoying ones in DKC2. But taking an extra step to get the coin every time is like, I don't know. It's fine, I guess. True, but just getting a collectible coin isn't an extra step, isn't it? Well, yeah, but it's, well, no, it's not. Because I can just find the coin. Once I find it, I don't have to throw an iron keg to get the coin. If you want to argue that fine, that's one step, looking, finding the hidden coin is one step, then sure, I can meet you halfway with that. But then on top of that, they've added a second step of then needing to throw an iron keg to get it. Is it different? Sure. But is it fun for me to have to do an extra step? No. But, you know, if you want to argue that finding the coin in the first place technically takes a step, then sure, I can I can meet you halfway there. But adding another another step on top of it to then throw the iron keg to get the coin, I don't think is super duper. I wouldn't call it game breaking gameplay or hot off the presses, amazing. Get this while it lasts gameplay, you know, me personally, if you like it, that's cool. And I don't mean to shit on your your likes. I'm not trying to do that, but yeah, it's, uh, it's fine. I could see that, but I would be more peeved if they added that the creming be hidden. Then I feel like a chore to me. Well, I mean, but that's that's neither here nor there because they didn't do that. 
Oh oh. Because he's not hidden. It's not like I have to find him and also on top of that, throw the thing. Which is, I mean, that's kind of not true. Sometimes he is hidden behind something that you have to get to. But... The fact that you said I'd be more peeved if they added that the Kremlin be hidden, but they didn't. Sometimes he's hard to find. He might be located in an area that's hard to get to. Which I could, you know, say that is a form of being hidden. He's not easy to get to. But most of the time, at the very least, yeah, he's not super hard to find. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. I'm just floundering. I don't know where, um... Where this hidden barrel is. I think I've missed it, and it's, like, at the end. I think it's at the end somewhere. I vaguely remember seeing a thing that I could do. Maybe I went past it without really paying attention. Like I said, my brain is uh, like at half capacity today. Feeling a little low energy today. Oh man, this shit is so meanly designed, man. Like these nooks and crannies that are really hard for you to get through. You can't just walk through some of these branches. You have to like jump very precisely. They really amped up the mean design in this one for sure. In my personal, oh, I think there's a keg down there, isn't there? That I'm supposed to use to get to get over there. I can't tell if it's part of the scenery or if it's the actual keg that I need to kill that green dude. Kill the bee. But... Uh-oh, for some reason I guess the invincibility barrel didn't load in. Well, that's lame. That's not very fun. Okay, so I already did all this. So I must have to kill that bee. Hopefully. See, it looks like it. Oh. It was just part of the scenery, so I don't know how to get rid of the dude. Uh, I'm gonna have to look up where it is, and I don't really want to do that. I better watch out. It's not over here. I'm gonna get hit. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Oh, okay. <sighs> it's fine. Hopefully, I don't need her. For anything. Okay, that was some oopsie on my part. Ripsaw Rage. Let me just look up where it is, because I don't want to keep guessing over and over. Let me just look up where it is, because I don't want to keep guessing. find the coin oh right above the letter o there's a barrel the kongs must up the barrel and throw it at a nearby to enter the bonus barrel behind it okay so right above the letter o it says right above the o okay Every time with that man, like this shit is like unfairly designed in a lot of areas. I may have gone too far in a couple of places. Uh oh. Letter O, letter O, where are you? 
Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. I'm just slightly behind. Oh, look, there is a barrel right there. Look, I can grab it. I understand they took out the ground slam in this one because there isn't really a use for it, but I always felt like the kitty should have had an extra ability, but then again, it could have been changed the way the game was played. Well, what other. Wait, what do you. What, what con in what context? I'm kind of missing the context from that comment. Was he in any other games from aside from this one? Or what did they take it out in the GBA version, or or they never added it to any other games? Is that what you're trying to say? Or okay, that's lame, dude. Come on, come on. Uh... here yes here here we go oh you're talking about like DK's ground scram from like the, the first game I think that's what you mean by, by that yes 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 Sorry, it took me a second to like stop and think about what it was you were saying. Uh oh, uh, oh no. Oh, that's so lame. Oh man, I have to do that shit again. That's so annoying. Well, it was there to like, you could hit enemies with it, but yeah, mostly to find like hidden bananas and shit. It really didn't do much in DKC1 either. Just like in both DKC1 and 2, Diddy was the best one for a lot of. Uh oh. Was the best for a lot of the actual platforming. Like, it was very rare that I wanted to use Donkey Kong unless, like, I knew that there were crushers or whatever. My main beef with the water bounce is that it's janky. A lot of the platforming elements in this one feel like they're not as tight as they were in 1 and 2. At least playing them immediately, like one after the other, it feels like there are some platforming elements that are a little less tight than what they were. Okay, so I want to be jumping this whole time because I cannot miss these, I cannot miss that many bananas on this dude or else I just straight up fail the stupid mission. And you can't run across the saw easily, so I want to be making sure to jump. Okay, we're done. Get me out. Get me out. Babies, have you tried this new game, Mario 64? It's truly amazing. Babies, uh, blazing bazookas. Uh oh, uh, the timing is he doesn't shoot it when I think he's going to shoot it. <laughs> You see that shit? Like, he doesn't shoot it out whenever. It's fine. It's cool. Like, I've done that for the second time in a row. Like, I don't care. It's a trap. He's trying to trap me into getting hit by that shit every damn time. Every time with that shit. Every time with that. Wow. 
The timing is just wrong on that shit a lot of the time, dude. It is just wrong. Okay, oh, that's... whatever. I'll take it, that works. Hey, you know, sometimes shit is janky in your favor, I'll take it, whatever. Whatever. Um, uh, hold on, what's, uh, what's over here? What, uh, what's, uh, over here? I do like uh, Evelyn Fisher's version of uh, the factory music. Can I kill you? Let's check that out. Oh, I, I, I know what I have to do. Right, right. Right, right. Like, I could argue that, yeah, this is... Um, oh, do I have to actually touch it? This is a creative way to do this. It's not not creative. Uh oh, I can only hit the thing. It's not not creative, but does that mean I like doing it? No. 